hello guys welcome in this video today in this video i will tell you how to link visual studio to mesm assembly language so today in short we are will start coding of assembly language to start a coding of assembly language you need a visual studio a visual studio of any version you can use visual studio 2012 then 2015 17 and 20 19 and in this video i will use 2020 19 version so let's begin our video uh, also if you don't know how to install visual studio 2019 the video link is given in the description you can check it there and you can now how to install visual studio so let's begin our today video First of all you have to open Visual Studio. So I am using Visual Studio 2019. So we have to create a new project. A new project uh, and then select empty project. Uh, then click on next uh, after that uh, set your project name and uh, location where you want to store your project and the solution name uh, solution name uh, consist of your code uh, i suggest you to keep the solution name and project name same and uh, then click on create Uh, it will take some time depending upon your computer speed or laptop speed to create a new project in your laptop so as you can see here our new project has been created so as uh, we have created an empty project so we are having nothing in our source files you can see on our screen our source files are empty if you you create a c++ project then you will found here two c++ files uh, first of all you have to delete it i will also share the link how you will you delete these uh, c++ files and these videos links will be given in the description and uh, after that we have to create uh, uh basically link over visual studio to masm uh, that is assembly language so uh, right click on your project name and then you can see build dependencies click on it and you will find a option build customizations so click on build customizations here you will find an option masm this option will be available in any of the version of visual studio you are using in your computer so tick mark on this option mess up and then click on okay after that uh, we have uh, attached somehow our visual studio to assembly language so we need here a notepad uh, a notepad where we will write our assembly language code to write assembly language code we have to add item in source files to add item in source files right click on source files and then you can see an add menu and uh, after clicking on add you can see here a uh, new item uh, you can create a new item by pressing control shift and a so doing this new item so here you can see it will ask the name of uh, the new item that we want to create and uh, here you can see the location where it will be stored so as we want to do coding in assembly language so we have to use the extension of assembly language that is .asm you can use any name here instead of source and uh, 
after that you have to use extension that is dot asm and then click on add uh, you can see on our screen the a notepad has been displayed on our screen and uh, after that we will link this notepad to our wine directory uh, what is our wine directory our wine directory is basically is a uh, uh, is like header files that contain libraries that can be used in assembly language uh, to download our wine directory the link will be given in the description so you can follow that link to download the wine folder if you are not having a wine folder before so after that you have to click on your project name right click right click on your project name and then at the end you will find properties go on properties and uh, as we are linking over visual studio to mesm or wine so we have to go in our linker tab so in linker tab we have to go in general so as i said our wine is a additional library directories that we will add in our visual studio to link masam assembly language so here we will add that folder so you can see this folder icon that is a new line click on it and then you can see these three dots uh, by clicking on these three dots you will have a windows explorer window and uh, then go to that place where you are having your arvine folder as you can see i am having arvine folder in my local disk after select clicking or uh, just one click on your arvine folder and then uh, click on select folder okay as i have uh, you can see selected the folder arvine that is present in my e drive and then click on okay after clicking okay uh click on apply uh then we have to go in linker tab as all options or uh, in uh, all options move this options to up and uh, you can see here additional dependencies in the top of the list additional dependencies so here we will have to add our wine library so type here arvine 32 .lib okay so this is the library that we will use during uh, in our assembly language programming so type it here and then click on okay then click on apply after that an option microsoft macro assembler will display in the menu click on it and in the options uh, you will find here include paths uh, in include paths we will have to add the path of our arvine folder so how we will do that to do this open your windows explorer uh, sorry file explorer and then go to the location where you are having your arvine folder so i am having in my local disk e that's it. there is an one folder then click on here and uh, copy that address this address will be the address of your arvine folder in the local disk then place this address is in, in include paths Uh, after that click on okay so then click on apply so your visual studio has been linked win assembly language macro assembler now you can write code while using this visual studio file so this was our today lecture 6 thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon